Can't do the time, don't do the crime. Apparently the motto in Tipton County after criminals started crossing county lines. They're not catching and releasing, they are prosecuting. Hello, I'm Greg Hirsch. Stephanie is off tonight. WRG's Ashley Paul followed up on a recent break in and spoke with Sheriff Shannon Beasley about how Tipton County is dealing with Memphis's crime problem. It was just a matter of time. We knew it's been coming out of Memphis. Judson Nafee watches this surveillance video as five thieves bust through the window at Whiskey Business on Highway 51 in Covington and steal thousands of dollars worth of liquor. We've had three break-ins in Tipton County recently that look like Memphis-style break-ins, and of course, there's no consequences in Memphis for breaking in. But Tipton County Sheriff Shannon Beasley says this is not Memphis. Writing on Facebook, quote, if you think we are going to let you run back to Memphis or anywhere else without any consequences, you've got us confused. There's no shade at Memphis. It's all across the country, uh, especially in our larger cities, uh, where it seems that the criminals are not punished. They're treated like the victim instead of the criminal. Sheriff Beasley says we see too many cases where criminals get away with a slap on the wrist in Memphis, and that crime is now seeping into Tipton County. But he promises Tipton County will not handle it the same way. One thing's going to happen in Tipton County, if you come up here and you bring those stupid crimes to us, we promise you, you're going to pay bail and you're going to pay your time. And if you want to come up here and commit those crimes and you've got the time to sit in jail, I promise you I got the place to put you. And that's exactly what happened. Three of the men responsible for the burglary at Whiskey Business remain in the Tipton County Jail tonight with no bond. Nafee says if the store had to be burglarized, he's glad it happened in Tipton County. Well, we all know each other. We all want to have a nice, safe place to live. And if they're going to bring that stuff out of Memphis to here, our law enforcement officers and our DAs and our judges are they're going to pay for it. They're going to pay for their crime here. Two other men involved in the burglary are still on the run. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Covington Police Department. In Tipton County, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.